Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to mine Nexus on a brand new pool that's opened up using your AMD or Nvidia graphics card. So I'll be demoing using my Nvidia GTX 970, but I'll also show you the setup and configuration to get started if you have a AMD graphics card. So it's a brand new pool, and I'm excited to share this with you because I've been waiting for this for a long time. Up to this point it was only solo mining and that was um, difficult for small miners like myself and like a lot of you guys. So brand new pool, excited to share it with you. Let's jump over to the screen capture and I'll show you how to get started mining this coin. Okay, so we're on the screen capture now. You can see the SK Miner, the Nexus NVIDIA pool miner is running in the top left hand corner here. You can see I'm getting a little over 80 mega hashes. Uh, it's important to use the latest drivers for NVIDIA with this miner. You need drivers that support CUDA version 9. So I'm using 388.13 and I found those to be working well. If you don't use the latest drivers, you're going to get a timeout uh, problem. So let me just minimize that for the time being. So like I say, this is a machine with a GTX 970 and you can see I get a little over 80 mega hashes. Um, I'm just going to stop the miner now because this uh, GPU runs um, extremely hot. But I'll show you the uh, configuration now, and then uh, a little bit on, we'll move on to the AMD configuration. So first of all, the pool that we're going to be mining to, it's nexuspool.ru. And from here, it's, you know, you just mine to the pool in the, in the regular sort of fashion. So I'll show you how to get started with this. So the miners that I'll set up for you, there's two of them, and if you download using the link in the video description, you'll see a folder that looks like this. So it's an Nexus GPU pool miner, and inside there I've got a AMD miner and also an Nvidia miner. So let's start with the Nvidia miner. So it's a pretty basic uh, files inside there. You've got this config.ini. Um, you can leave that as it is, you really don't need to um, adjust that at all. It will pick up your GPUs without issue. The part that you want to edit is this start hyphen pool hyphen minor dot bat. So if we select it, then right click it and edit it, which will open it up with the notepad. And here inside we've got the configuration. The configuration is very simple. You won't really need to change very much at all. So, but I'll just break it down to you. So the first part is just a timeout to get started. So it gives you a 10 second countdown timer before it starts. The loop, don't need to worry about it. It means that if the, the miner crashes, it will just kind of re go back to the beginning. But onto the miner part. So you've got a call to the miner, load up the miner program, and we're going to be mining to this pool. So it's eu.nexuspool.ru, and then we've got the pool port. This part here is our Nexus address. So you can use your Nexus wallet address, or you can also mine um, to an exchange deposit address. So for example, if you've got um, if you use Btrex, for example, you can mine to the Btrex Nexus deposit address. Then we've got a full stop or period there, and then we've got a worker nickname, so we've got iMine Blocks. We've got the number of GPUs, I've got it set to one. Um, increase the number for each number of GPUs, so if you've got three GPUs, increase that number to three, for example. Then we've got a timeout, and we've also got an intensity. At the moment, I've just left the intensity on my machine at 40. And that seems about right. If you've got a higher uh, card, such as a um, 1070 Ti, you might want to experiment with increasing the intensity and see if you get uh, better performance out of there. So that's the mining file. So all you need to do is change your address and your worker nickname. Then you want to go file and save that. You can just save it as it is or save over the top of it if you like. You want to close that. And then when you start the miner, just double click it. So like I say, at the very first start, you'll get this 10 second countdown timer. You can skip that by pressing any key and the miner will start. So first it's gonna to connect to the pool and you'll see it's connected to the pool and it starts giving you a hash rate. On this machine, I'm getting just under 80 mega hashes. And then as it sort of increases, the hash rate will pick up. It's quite slow to adjust the hash rate, but what you should start seeing is these accepted shares, which is where this A equals so for each number of accepted shares, that's basically you're sending the work back to the pool and you'll get rewarded for that work. If you start to see a higher number of rejected shares, more than say 5%, um, you want to reduce your intensity or, or reduce your clock speeds. Um, that could be an indicator of a problem there. So that's the NVIDIA Nexus Miner. Uh, I'll just close that now. And I'll show you how to set up the AMD version, which is 
similar but a little bit different. So go back to the main folder, we've got the Nvidia and the AMD miner, so I'll select that now. So in the AMD miner, we don't have a batch file and command line to start it. We've just got the miner itself, um, but we do need to change the configuration. So if you go into the resources folder and then config, you've got this miner.conf and we want to right click and edit it or open it with notepad. So you can see it's a similar sign of setup. This is kind of reminds me of a lot of the old script miners uh, and the configuration files that they used. So we've got the URL, you can leave that as it is. And then we've got the user. So here you want to add in your Nexus wallet address or your exchange wallet address for Nexus. So obviously I've got mine in there. The password, you can just leave it as X. That's not really uh, relevant. The algorithm, you can leave it as it is. But these next parts, you want to customize it to suit your own needs. So GPU engine is your core clock speed. So your GPU's core clock. Adjust this to what, what suits. Obviously, look find out your GPU specification. Same for your memory clock. Increase this or set this to your current um, GPU memory clock. Shaders, you'll have to look at your uh, specifications for your graphics card and set the right number of shaders. GPU threads, you can leave it as one. The other settings you can leave it as they are. As I said with the Nvidia miner, if you have uh, problems with rejected shares, you can reduce the intensity. That should be about right. There's also thread con con concurrency, and this is like a base uh, 64 value. So if you have any problems with it, try using like 8192, um, reduce that down to 8192, and that should uh, help you um, get running without any crashing, things like that. So then you just want to file and save that as your minor conf. And then we want to go back. And then this time you're just going to start the minor just as it is. So we're just going to select it and double click it. it on this case, I don't have a AMD GPU, so mostly the minor will just open and close is what I'm expecting. Okay, so we've got a Windows protection, so we just go to more info and we want to run anyway. Okay, close. That will be because it hasn't found any AMD GPUs. So that's how you use the AMD miner. Um, I'll probably show you an update on that using one of the other machines, but I can't show you it right now, unfortunately. Um, just going back to the pool, I'll just to show you how it um, displays your stats and stuff. So if you go back to the pool, nexus.ru, and if you enter either your worker name or your nexus address, it will show you your earnings um, over the previous period of time. So you can see I've earned 0.5 Nexus. Uh, also there's a pay, pay out threshold of five Nexus, so you need to earn at least five Nexus before you'll get a payout. It also shows you your workers down on the left hand side, so if you have multiple machines with different worker names, you can see who's doing what, etc. If, if I just go back. So like I say, a lot of you guys will probably ask about the earnings. There's a small uh, earnings calculator. So on the GTX 970, it was mining uh, around 80 mega hashes. So you can see the Nexus daily is 1.13. Um, so just over a dollar and 15 cents roughly on a daily basis. Obviously you've got to consider your electricity costs and stuff on that basis as well. But Nexus is quite cheap right now, so it might be a good coin to mine and hold for a little while and see how it uh, plays out or you know, hold half, sell half, that kind of strategy. Okay, so that's it for another video. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed watching learn how to mine Nexus using a pool. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna be asking me about earnings today. At the moment, from what I've seen using the calculator and from my own sort of earnings, it's roughly around the same sort of ballpark areas as Ethereum or Zcash, kind of similar earnings ratio probably a dollar to two dollars per GPU per day, something in that that kind of area. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Um, just before you go, if you haven't already liked it, give me a like and um, subscribe to this video. I do put out videos like this on a regular basis. It'd be great to have you as part of our community. And also consider following me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and also Steam it as well. I'll put out content, different sort of content on those other um, channels. So it'd be great to have you guys um, and you know and sharing with you guys on those platforms as well as so thanks very much i'll see you guys on the next video